We're due for another penny hunt. And I've got another box from Jim Cantor. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. And that's right, we've got another one of those mom and pop customer hand wrapped boxes given to me generously to hunt by Jim Cantor. If you haven't watched the first, second, or third video of the series, check them out. I'll have the links to them down below. This is box number four. Jim, once again, thank you, brother. I can't wait to get in here and check it out. Speaking of getting in here, let me go ahead and unwrap this box, pull the penny box out of here, and let's take a look at it together. So I got the top opened up. We got a letter from Jim for me. And as an FY, he sent me the mom and pop rolls and he sent me a roll of 69S that might be OBW or original bank wrapped rolls and a few loose ones to take a look at. I'm gonna look at those in a second, but let me get this penny box out of here and get it opened up so we can see what the hand wrap rolls look like. All right, I've got everything out of the box. We've got 50 customer wrap rolls in the penny box. That's exciting, we'll get to that. We've got four 69S pennies that Jim had been hunting for some rolls and some bags, wanted me to take a look at, which I will save that as well as this 69S roll that I'll take a look at it in a separate video. I'm not gonna do that for this video. The video is gonna be long enough doing these customer wraps if they're just like the other boxes. So without further ado, let's start cracking into rolls. Just cracking into roll number one of the hunt. We've already got a couple of fantastic looking 1959 Denvers, not the RPMs, but we've got our first wheat scent found and it's gonna be a 1958 Denver. Roll number two, wheat scent number two. 1935 Philly, not in that bad of shape. Roll three, wheat scent number three. 1951S. Same roll, we're gonna have wheat scents four and five, I believe. We've got a 1946 D for number four, and I think I see another 46 back here. I do, and that one's in pretty good shape. And that might be actually a 1940. It is 40 Philadelphia, fifth wheat scent of the box. For sake of time, I'm gonna wrap up each roll unless I encounter something ridiculously nice like a blazer or a better date or a better condition one in just general throughout the hunt. For roll four, we had three more wheat scents, a 53D, a 57D, and a 57D. Three more makes eight through four rolls. Roll five has been a good roll so far. We have found a 1918S, it is slick, but it's still an S-minted teens wheat scent, and a 1945 Philly. I bring in though because We've got a blazer right here. Figured we'd unveil it together. Probably 56 or 58. And it is a 58D. What a beauty. That makes three more that's 11. And we do have a 12th one back here as well. 1948 Philly. Just dumped rule number six in my hand and um, we've got something foreign in here. And this is, that's not Canadian. That is a sixpence. 1967 sixpence in great shape. I don't remember the cutoff years for silver sixpences, but let me look it up and be right back. All right, I looked it up. 1936, the King George V was the last year they had 50% silver in the UK sixpences. But either way, I will take it for sure. Nice find, it's in great condition. Not silver, but it's a beauty nonetheless. Same roll as that UK sixpence. We've already pulled a 53 DNS out for wheat cents 13 and 14, but wheat cent 15 is gonna be another beautiful 1958 Denver. Stunner. Roll number nine, only one more wheat cent to add for number 16 but it is a 1938 Philly. And for those wondering, we have four Canadians already, a whole bunch of 59s, including some beauties, and 369 S's, none of the DDOs. Roll 10, the Ender. 
was a blazer. 57 Denver this time. They're getting older. Same roll, and we found one more wheat scent. It's a 1942 Denver. That'll be 17 for the box. Oh, and we are finding a lot of 59s and 60s, especially 1960 year and 1959 year in the first 10 rolls so far. Rolls 11 and 12 produced seven more wheat scents. That'll make 25 for the box through 12 rolls. 1919P, 1934P, 35P, 46S, 55D, 57D, and 58D. Rolls 13, 14, and 15, seven more wheat scents for 32. And we also found a King George VI, 1951. The wheat scents of note, a 1926 D. Better date, a 1936, 39, 52 S, 53 S, 56 D, and 58 D. Roll 16's got another beauty, and it's another 1958, but instead of Denver, it's a Philly. We're on roll 17, and I figured I'd bring in because I can see we've got a wheat scent there, possible blazer there, and that's got to be another wheat scent behind it. First one, we already saw it, 1946S. Second one, it's another 1959D. Now, I am finding a ton of 1959s, almost uncirculated, and some in the 60s as well. There's a ton of 1960s in here, but none of them are the large date over small date, D over D, which is a bummer. The final wheat scent of it, That is a 1909S. That is a 1909S. It is worn, but that is a 1909S. Is there a VDB? I think I see a VDB. There is a VDB. We have just found a 1909S VDB, albeit in terrible shape. That's a no doubter. Unbelievable. 1909S VDB. The only scent I am missing from my album, and I will take it. Let me get my stuff together and I'll be right back. All right, I just wanted to flip it up because I don't want to keep touching it. Again, I know it's not in the best shape, but it is a 1909 SVDB, no doubter, and we have that for our collection now. I have seen worse. I have seen worse in my day as far as Wheat Sense, not 1909 SVDBs. I've never found one until now. But you know what? I would say it's at least G4 condition. I would say it's at least G4. And if I'm lucky, maybe even a G6 or a VG8. So as bad as it is, I'll take it because I did not have one. And now I do. Find it in the box. I don't think it'll get better than that. Holy cow. Getting back to the stats, we've added two more wheat scents to the 33 we had, 35 wheat scents, 17 rolls in, a few coins to go. Well, rolls 18 and 19 are gonna add 12 more wheat scents. The reason I'm bringing you in is though, we have a, another blazer of a back, probably gonna be another 58 or 57 like we've been finding. And it is 58 Denver. What a stunner. Also, again, even more of these 60s through 63s that are just beautiful. Well, actually, 59 through 63s. There's a lot of beauties in here in this box. Crazy. The other wheat scents we found was a 50, 51S, 56P, and 57D. 
and then a bunch of 44s. We had a 40S and then several 44Ss and 44Ps, four of them. A 45S and a 46S. Now, for those wondering, I get a lot of San Francisco minted wheat cents and coins in general because Jim's boxes have been rolled up from Seattle. So we're on the West Coast, which is why we're seeing a lot of Denver's and a lot of San Francisco minted coins. All right, let's get back to the hunt. We have 47 wheat cents. One more roll and I'll do a 20 roll wrap up if we find anything else in that roll. Roll 20, it's gonna produce two more wheat cents. A 1919 and a 1958D. That will now make 49 total through 20 rolls, including the two finds of the box so far is that 26D and of course a 1909 SVDB. Unbelievable. 30 more rolls, we're not even halfway done yet. All right, we went through rolls 21 through 25. Kind of a slower set of rolls, only seven wheat cents in them, but we did get a 52D. A 58D, a 42P, 45S, 46S, 48S, and a 28 Philadelphia. Seven more wheat cents makes 56 now in total, halfway through the box. We are now 30 rolls into the box, so 60% of the rolls have been hunted. We will add another nine wheat cents from those five rolls, going back from the oldest first, a 16P, a 19S in decent shape, a 1944, two 46s, two 48s, and a 49 Denver. We also got a 1955P, not the DDO. Nine more wheat cents, that makes 65 through 30 rolls. Roll number 31 of the box, bringing in because we've got another blazer right here. Probably another 58, 57, 57D. We'll take it. Wheat cent number 66. We're on roll 33 and we have found a handful of wheat cents. I'll give you the wrap up on those in a second, but I bring in because we've got an Indian head sent in the roll. What's it gonna be? 1887. There is a variety for the 1887. And at first glance, I don't see an over date or a repunch date but let me do a little homework on it it's been a little while since i've looked at indian head scent varieties let me just make sure i'm looking for the right thing and then we'll come back and do a wheat scent wrap up and an indian head scent wrap up after 33 rolls all right it wasn't an over date on the 87 it was a ddo on of america and even though it's worn you'd be able to see it it's Pretty heavily doubled on AMER, America, and there's no doubling on this one. There's no detail really either to speak of, but it's an Indian head scent, and I'll take that all day. Outside of that, we did, like I said, get eight more wheat scents. We got a 50S, 56D, and a 55D, a 44S, a 45S, a 46 DRS, I can't tell, it's pretty beat up. And a 49D, and then a 1919S in pretty good shape once again. I will tell you, it is nice seeing nicer teens ones, and this one has some wear. Almost no RU in trust. Pretty crazy, look how weak the strike is on the top, and that could be from wear, this coin is heavily worn, but that is odd to say the least. We'll add those eight to the board. That makes 74 wheat cents after 33 rolls and an Indian head scent. Roll 34 of the box and I'm bringing in because not only do we have a blazer there, take a look at these next few coins. A Canadian and a couple of more wheat cents and another Canadian. So figure we'll just keep you here for this one. See what we got. 1957D. We got a Canadian. That's a 1951S, 55D, and a 47S. 
This is another Canadian, maybe some other wheat scents, but I'll get you a wrap up after a few more rolls. Roll 35, another beauty coming up. Must be a 57 or 58, they've all been that. No, 1955D this time. Oldest blazer of the box. Just finished our 36th roll, and I didn't show it because it was at the very end of that roll, but we had another nice 1957D, which I'll add to the top of the board up here. And then we also found a 51S, a 55D, a 58D, a 36P, a 47S, a 1918P, and a 1919P. So eight more to add to the board that I was slightly updating with those other blazers, and that makes now 84 through 36 rolls. Roll number 37 of the hunt, and we have got another one. I see an Indian head scent right here. It's got decent detail. 1909. It is a beauty. It is brown. Probably in an AU grade. That would have been nice to have an S on the back. We don't, but I'll take it anyway. Indian head scent number two of the box. Well, we're now done with 40 rolls. I had a hard time making it there since I had so many wheat scents to show you. We got 15 more. It'll put us at 99 already with 10 rolls to go. Let's go ahead and run through them really quick. A 51P, 51S, 54S, and 57D for the 50s. 44D, 44D, 45P, and 45S for the 40s. 35 and 37, both Phillies for the 30s. An 11, 16, 16, 17, and 19 for the teens. 99 wheat cents, a ton of beauties, and 10 rolls to go. We have now completed 45 rolls, and we are going to add another 7 from the 50s, 3 from the 40s, and 11920 Denver in pretty toasty shape. 11 more wheat cents. That makes 110 with five rolls left. Roll 48, continuing to find wheat scents, but I bring in because we've got another stunner here. A 1958D. Gorgeous. We just finished roll 50. I didn't show it because uh, it was the end of the hunt, basically, so I figured I'd wait till the end, but we did find a nice 1956 Denver. We'll add that to where the stunners are. And then we had 14 other wheat scents along with that for the 15th, which makes 125. In those, we had a bunch in the 50s and the 40s. We did have a 36, not the DDO, and then a couple in the teens, a 1911 and a 1917. Before I give you guys the wrap up, I just wanna give you an overview of all of what we grabbed out of here. And again, I will cover these for the most part in rapid fire order so you know what we had. Let me get these up here, get it all situated, and give you a full wrap up. So quick wrap up, 125 wheat scents, two Indian head scents, 21 from Canada, two were King George the Sixes, six were young heads. We had 18 1969 S's, one six pence from the UK, 11 blazers, and loads of beauties. We got the 50s all stacked up from 59 all the way down to 1950, every year was covered. We got all the 40s covered all the way down to 1940. Every year was covered except for no steelies. I've got most of the 30s, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, and 34. Nothing from 33, 32, 31, or 30. The teens are up here and a 20s. We got a 1920 D. And then we've got a bunch of 19s, 18s, 17s, 16s, and then 1911s, two of those. No 12, 13, 14, or 15s in the bunch. There's all the Canadians, and there's the two KG sixes. I think the oldest, if I recall, was 1940. Yeah, 1940, beautiful. Look at all of the 1959s we had. I think all the 59 Browns are the first three rows, except for a few more shiny ones over here. And then a ton of really nice Lincoln Memorial sense, all copper, and nothing past 1974S. I didn't see anything else that I really wanted to keep outside of that. 
Some of these are not as nice, but they might be an S mint or they might be toned beautifully like that one, even though it's got some damage, I still like the toning on it. Didn't want to send it back. Same thing with this guy right here. Cool toning, just wanted to keep it for the color or whatever. All the 69 S's are down here. We got a lot of them. No DDOs, of course, even though there was 18, just not that much to really say we could find a DDO. The discard bin, not one shield sent. 2009 was the most recent date. Cup full of copper, and when you add in all of this copper, definitely would have been overfilled. Some of the side finds, I had a really nice 1984P that might upgrade my album, so I'm gonna keep it. And probably the nicest 1993D I think I've ever seen in circulation. There is a scratch right there, of course, but it's nice enough that it just might be an upgrader in the album. I did pull out three different varieties and I'll take some time to show them under the scope. They're all 1960D. The first one, you can see it's an RPM with the D to the east. The second one is another RPM and you can see the D has a split serif from the top and the bottom. Not the best example because it's a circulated example, but still a D over D RPM. And then we had a ton of what are dyed chips in either the six or the nine in the date. I just wanted to show you one. You can see the dyed chips right there. A lot of these 1960Ds had filled in nines, filled in sixes, sometimes both. I don't keep them because I have a ton of uncirculated ones that I got from Rolls that have them. So I don't need the ones that aren't as nice. I just want to pull one out to show you. Here's the Blazers, 55D, 56D, 57D, 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 58D, 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 and 58P. Crazy. Well, we add those to our rolls. There's that beautiful six pence. Wish it was silver, but still a stunner. Happy to have found it in the box. Two Indian head cents, a slick 87, I'll take it, and an AU, probably 55, 1909. We do have almost all four diamonds showing in the ribbon. Can't see it from this distance, probably. And the word liberty is definitely detailed. Not quite enough to maybe receive a mint state. Probably an AU55 brown, in my opinion. Still a nice find. I don't think it'll upgrade, but I'll hold on to it. My two favorite finds, other than the Indian incense, I guess, is this really nice, and it's in the plastic, but it's a 1926D. It's not a key or semi-key, but it's close, and it's a nice one, and it'll probably upgrade my album. And then the find of the hunt. Who would have thunk it? 1909S. And it's hard to see through the plastic, but it's got the VDB at the bottom. Barely can make it out, but it's there. There you go. Now you can see it clear as day. 1909S. VDB. Unbelievable. I will tell you, I would have imagined that when I had found that 09S VDB, I thought for sure we were going to find maybe a 14D, another 31S, some of the other semi-key dates, maybe even an 09S or any other 09s. Odd that we only found one key date, and it's the keyest king of all key dates for the Lincoln Scent series. Anyway, thank you once again, Jim. Listen, I will keep on taking boxes like this, and I'm happy you got a nice 09S VDB in your box because... Uh, had I found mine and you didn't get yours, I'd feel pretty guilty. But knowing that mine is nowhere near as nice as yours and it completes my album, that makes me happy. I said it'd be a quick wrap up and we we're going to be about a five or six minute wrap up. So I apologize, but there's just so many finds. I think the last thing to do is to put a smiley face in my Lincoln Scent album because now I have the entire Lincoln Scent series. Hopefully you enjoyed this mom and pop customer wrap rolls hunt. If you did... I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.
And this feels good.